Hello and welcome to today's session. Today we're going to look at how to fix an error in our performance on a Moodle site. So notice when we go into reports, okay, we're here under reports, and then performance overview, we will get an error. If we don't, then we're fine. But if we do, this is how we fix it. So let's go into the performance overview so you can see the error that I have under the following. Notice everything is okay except the final one where it says database schema check. So I need to fix that so it doesn't show an error. It should show okay. Let's go back and into reports server. Next we're going to go into, into checks. In order to fix things, we're going to go into this area. This I got from Moodle.org. You go into the site administration, and then you need to write the following in your search engine. So let's copy that. I'll add this in the comment box or the description of this video to help you. Let's go back here and into our search area under admin now you might want to take off the editor because that might not work but it did work so here it is next you're going to click on it notice uh, you could have gotten this under development which is right here but if you forget that's how you do it you go into moodle.org where the information will appear now notice these should all be uh, checked off as okay with no errors we're going to go into check and click on that and let's get going here uh, and everything should be fixed at this point on your server again so it comes through next we're going to go into yes because this will show you the missing indexes that you need to fix and there may be quite a few from that error over there Click on yes seconds and everything is fine except for one, one missing index. Sometimes it appears in red, but this will also depend on the theme that you're using. I'm using Advisor Rem UI here, so it doesn't appear in red. On others, it might just appear in red. What you're going to do is you're going to copy this. Oh, so here we go. We only have one, which is a good thing. So we've copied it. Let's make sure that we copied it again. Okay. Sometimes it appears in red, which makes it um, stand out more. All right. Next, we're going to go into our server. And I'm using cPanel here and into PHP, my admin. Click on that. Don't be afraid. Nothing wrong will happen because um, if the code is wrong, it won't be accepted. Next, I'm going to... Uh, make sure I'm on the right yes I am in the right place uh, by going into the Moodle next I'm going to go into SQ and if it's the wrong script it'll let me know next I'm going to go into go so you don't have to uh, worry here reject it which is a good thing right all right next so let's click on go now it may take a while for it to there now we know that it's okay let's go back to the site now what we're going to do is we're going to refresh but it may take a few seconds so be patient let's resend that and there is the zero so everything is okay now and our performance should be a lot better but i what i usually do when i make any kind of change is go into let's go back here and purge might not be necessary but it's always a good idea let's look for it scroll down here we go click on purge might look different on your Moodle I don't know what version you're using let me know when you ask questions in the comment box below to let me know what version this is Moodle 4.05 soon to be Moodle 4.1 there, so click on Purge All Cache, and we're going to be good to go. And that's it. That's how you fix such an error. Thank you for watching. 
feel free to subscribe and keep asking.